my guests today say a few nights of passion have led to a show full of drama. Please meet Edwin. He says he's not sure if the mother of his child is the woman for him. Edwin, what's going on? I met my girlfriend four years ago. Yep. And um, we always had a little off and off thing, you know? Yeah. But about a year and a half ago, well, I was over there staying at her house. Yeah. And she looked worried. She had something to tell me. Yeah. Well, I told her, well, just let me know, you know? Like, there's anything you want to tell me, just tell me. Well, she handed me a piece of paper, Jerry. On this piece of paper, it said, you plus me equals three. It, it took me a little bit to kind of get it, but all right. She ended up being pregnant. Oh. Yeah. That's what three is, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the third one. Yeah, that's not a threesome you want. Well, yeah, OK. I, <laughs> so, uh, no, but anyway, so you had no idea that she could possibly have a baby? I, I, well, I had no idea. I mean, I wasn't trying to have a baby with her. I mean, at the time, Did you I have was, sex with her? Yeah. Well, that's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, well, at, at the time, I was also talking to other girls, and she yes. knew it. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, she wasn't sure if I was really going to be committed, you know, and I, I did a lot of things at first that, you know, like, a lot of bad things that oh. I, I, I really regret, a lot of yeah. mistakes that, yeah. you know, and well... Now, do you love her? Oh, yeah, I love her. Yeah. I've grown to love her, yeah, since then, I've grown to love <clears throat> well, her Well, good, lot. and you have a beautiful child. A beautiful baby. Yeah, she's a girl? A, yeah, a little yeah. girl, she's a year and six months. Oh, wonderful. Well, yeah, good for you. Beautiful. Okay, well, th this is all too much good news to be on our show. What, what's going on? Well, about three weeks ago, yep. um, we, had, we had gotten an argument, yep. and I left for a little bit. Yeah. I just kind of got my bag of clothes, and um, I took off, but I didn't go where I told her I was going to go. Right. Um, my buddies invited me out to go out to a club with them. Yeah. Peer pressure me. You're single now, you know? Yeah. And, well, I went out to the club. Well, you were single for about 10 minutes, well, right? Well, well, just, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, they're all single, Jerry. They're all, they're all doing their own thing. Oh, so, I see. Yeah, yeah like, I, I didn't get to, like, pretty much do all that stuff like they're doing it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, well, I was out there, and um, I looked in the middle of the dance floor, and I seen this girl. She was dancing real suave, real nice, and... Oh man, it was it was awesome. She was dancing suave. Yeah, Whoa. she was just she was she was moving around, moving those hips, Jerry. She yeah, was moving them. Both hips? Well, both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, I finally got the nerve to go talk to her, and hey, this girl was awesome. Yeah, she was cool. Like we hit it off real fun. Like she she, she, she cracks jokes. I like to crack jokes. Yeah, making each other laugh, and it, it was something different. So what happened? Well, um, after the club, we yeah. went to a little after party. Yeah. We were right there, you know, just talking, sitting down. I put my arm around her. Oh. We started making out, and, well, I found out that she's a stripper. Oh. Uh, so that made removing the clothing easier. Um, it, it, did, <laughs> it did not bother me none. If anything, yeah. I told her, hey, well, show me a little bit of things what you do in the private room. Mm. Yeah, well, we went to my buddy's bedroom. She gave me a little dance, and we ended up having sex that day. Oh. Did you feel bad because you, you just earlier in the evening had a fight with your girlfriend, the mother of your child? Um, I didn't feel as bad then because well, I, I, I was not. in the heat yeah. of the moment. I mean, I was angry still. I was yeah. still mad at yeah. my girlfriend. I mean, yeah. it wasn't something that I was feeling bad like in the moment. Yeah, uh, but you would like if you were in a, when you have an argument with her, you wouldn't like it if she suddenly got up, walked out, and had sex with a guy later in the evening. No, I wouldn't. No, yeah, see. No, that. She's probably not gonna like it either. Yeah. Okay, so now what's between you and this stripper? Well, pretty much, I just like her attitude. She makes me feel good. She, she don't put me down. Yeah. She makes me feel respected, like wanted around. And we, like I said, we just have a real good connection. Is she interested in having a relationship with you? Um, you know what, I'm not quite sure. We, have, we, we haven't really talked about that. We've been kind of mostly just getting to know each other. Are you up. saying you want to leave your girlfriend? I don't know, I really don't want to leave her. But I don't want to be putting up with this stuff anymore. Okay. I, I work real hard. I mean, I work out in the fields eight hours a day. What do you do? Um, picking grapes and cleaning up the grape vineyards. Good for you. And okay. just, just, I don't want to be coming home. Yeah. That's, I, a, that's I, a great job. It's hard work, Jerry. Hard work. <laughs> hard labor, real hard. And to come home from, from a hard labor to just to argue, it's, it's yeah. getting old. It's getting real old, and yeah. I don't want that anymore. Okay, well, do you ever bring grapes home to her? Oh, all the time. <laughs> really, I, I bring big boxes of grapes, big bags of grapes all the time. Oh, hope you pay for them. Oh, nah, they give them to us free. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Amanda is your girlfriend. My girlfriend. The mother of your child. She's outside the studio, hasn't heard any of this. We're gonna bring her out and you're gonna tell her what's going on. Here's oh, Amanda. Yeah.
Hi, Amanda. Hi, Jay. Nice to meet you. I understand you have a beautiful young girl, oh, yeah, 16 she's months beautiful. old. Yes. Yeah, we've got a good family going on. She's beautiful. I guess she looks more like you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and how is, how is your relationship going? With um, it's good. In the beginning, it was kind of hard, you know. Um, we had a lot of problems, but we worked it out. I guess our love conquered it. Lately, it's been a little weird, though. Um, he's been real frustrated and irritated. I don't know what's going on with him, but... Um, well, gosh, she seems lovely. What do you want to tell her? You know I love you. I love our family. Um, I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt you. But, you know, you, do, you have been putting me down a lot. A lot. And I tell you all the time. I tell you all the time. You need to stop that because no one could take it forever. Eventually, you, I, I'm going to get fed up with it. And I don't know if that's what happened or what, but um, when I, when the last time we were arguing, when we went to the club, mm -hmm. I met a girl. And, and what? She was cool. Um, I liked the way she talked. I liked the way we talked. She really made me feel special. She made me feel respected. And you weren't doing that to me anymore. You, you stopped. Like, I wasn't feeling your love anymore, Amanda. All, all I was hearing from you was just negative things. I don't want to hear that anymore. <clears throat> it's getting too much for me. Why? I don't know. Well, Amanda, look. You, you were putting me down. You say I don't take care of the baby. You know I take care of the baby. What about our family? What family, Amanda? The family. What do you mean, what family, Edwin? What family? You argue with me all the time. You call that a family? That's not a family. That's just two people just living together. So then why don't you talk to me and tell me what's wrong? I try. I try no, to talk to you. No, you don't try. Leaving is not trying, Edwin. I try talking to you, but it's hard to talk to you when you don't ever let me talk. You cut me off in the middle of conversations. You're just telling me all these negative things. I don't want to hear that. I'm done hearing all that stuff. I'm done with that. I don't want that anymore, Amanda. I really don't. Jerry, I do everything for him. I, yeah. I wash his clothes. He goes to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. I wake up and I cook for him every day. He comes home and he never, ever goes without eating a meal. There's always a hot meal for him. He never, ever sees one dirty sock. All his clothes are always clean. Yeah. If I could fit in the shower, I'd probably wash his ass for him, too. <laughs> Look, Amanda, uh, we're going to have to take your word for that. Amanda, for real, for real, look, think about it. I would rather have none of that and have you respect me and have you talk to me right. How don't I respect you? What more do you want me to do? I want you to say what you love me without saying something negative. What more than everything can I do negative. for you? I want you to respect me without saying nothing negative. If I tell you, baby, you look pretty today. No, I don't. Edwin, no, all I, I don't. do is ask you to love me, and you can't do that. Why, Amanda? I sacrifice, I sacrifice Amanda. my friends for you. I have no friends. Why? You, Your friends come over because he's insecure that I'm going to cheat on him, Jerry. And he, look, obviously, you're the one cheating. Amanda, but look. How many more secrets do you have? Amanda, What look, else has been going when, on? When I try to love you, when I try to say, baby, look, look, you look beautiful today. What do you say? No, I don't. Edwin, I know I, you don't. Look, I know I don't look beautiful. You don't love me. How am how I supposed to love you if you don't love me? I just had a baby, Edwin. Of course, I don't feel good. I, I feel like I'm fat. I feel like I'm not pretty yeah. enough. I see these other gorgeous girls, and I feel like, gosh, you know, I see the way you look at them, you know, and I feel like you never look at me like that. And when you tell me, you just tell me because you feel like you have to. How long Stay with the motion. Watch a movie with me. Take me to the movies. Take a walk with me. You don't even have to spend money on me, Edwin. Just do you, go do you for take a walk. For walks no, Jerry. No, nothing. Jerry, nothing. He never spent time with me. But you have time to go and mess around with who? Who is she? Well, she's a girl that I met at the club. Her name is Bailey. Um, she's a stripper. How many times? A stripper, Edwin? <laughs> A stripper? Amanda, she's cool. She makes me feel like a man. She makes me feel respected. How does she do that? By taking her clothes By off? By listening to me? By taking her clothes off. By listening what to me? What else does she do for you? I think she listens while she takes her clothes off. <laughs> Amanda, she listens to me. Look, she, she, she listens to me, Amanda. You don't do that anymore. You don't. You, how am I gonna go for a walk with you when? If I could have some of your time, Edwin, I would listen. Why, why don't? You're always with your friends. Your friends constantly come over all the time. I never ever tell you that they can't come over. I never ever tell you, hey, let me go out. Let me have time. Let me do this. No, it's always about you. You, you, you. And I don't mind. All I want is you to love me. I let you walk all over me, but you can't even love me. Uh, you rather bring me here and make a fool of me, Edwin. Amanda. No. No, Amanda. How? How am I supposed to want to spend time with you when you would put me down all the time? 
Maybe why? Because, maybe that was the only way it, I could get your attention by telling you stuff. That even arguing with me is getting your attention. That's it. it. it All I wanted point. was your attention. And if I had to argue with you just for you to talk to me, then that's what I'll do. Well, I want to see this other woman here. Here's Bailey. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I, I, I can't say I love her, but I really do like her. I, I can't mean, believe you would pay to go see her and me, you can't even take me to watch a movie. Amanda, there's something different about her. What's different? Okay, what happens? What's when, different? What happens when we're having sex? Lights off, under the blankets. So I'm it's, insecure it's so about myself. It's, it's so Why don't you go flip the light on and say, hey, Why you're beautiful. Why don't you respect him? What? Respect Why don't him. you stay out of it? Why okay, but you know what? You've I'm just enough. telling you. Amanda, You've she, done she enough. Does, I didn't do anything wrong. You, you, he likes having fun with me. Do. I treat him with respect. She does things that you would never want to do, Amanda. I don't have to tell her, oh, turn on the lights. The lights are already on. I don't have to tell her, oh, let's see your body. She's, she's showing me your body. Hello. There's nothing wrong yeah. with being a stripper, honey. And, when you and have she a body and you can show it. When place. you have a body and you can show it. Take your clothes off. Okay, but I'm paying you to keep it on. Not even if it's 50 cents. I still get paid every night. It doesn't matter how much it is. It doesn't matter how much it is. All right. I'm not gonna let okay. you ruin my family. My daughter's heart's not gonna get broken. Obviously, of you. you don't have a family. You have a daughter, and he has a daughter. It's not a family. No, he's gonna go you and he's gonna grow up and he's gonna be a man and a guy and a girl. He's gonna stay. He's you have to, have, the have to have the guy and the girl together. We're gonna be a family. We have to have the guy and the girl together. The baby can be yours my man. and the baby can be his. Listen. Listen. Look, how am I supposed to want to stay with you? Look what you're no, telling you're me. No, you're staying with me. And now you're, you're going to force me? You're going to be a man, and you're going to stay with me. And now you're going to force me? You're going to stay with me, Edwin. No, you can't force no, me to no, do anything. I don't care. I don't no, care. you're not. No, you're how, not. Am I, how am I supposed to feel comfortable going home with you with that care. attitude? I don't care what you feel comfortable so about. So I'm going to go home for what? For you to just put me down again? I'm going to go home and struggle with my daughter? No. Too many guys run away from their problems like this, and I'm not going to let you. Well, I'm not running away from my daughter, but I'm not going to stay with you if you're going to keep doing this. If. If you're gonna keep telling me and putting me down, I'm not gonna go home with you. I'm sorry, but and I'm if not. Can I work on it? Well, I need to hear a commitment. If I'm gonna commit, you have been working on it. If, if I'm gonna commit to you, I need you to commit to what you're saying you're gonna do. If not, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, but I, I, words hurt, Amanda. Okay, I'm, Maybe it's not a physical pain, sorry, but it's an emotional pain that words work hurt. Let's work it out, please. I never cheated you. I never did anything like that to you. Please. Don't, I'm willing to take this, you back after this. Please. Don't do this, please. Please, Edwin. Amanda, I'm sorry. I'm so guilty. No, it's, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not her fault? No, she didn't it's do nothing. It's not her fault that she's a homewrecker? She didn't because do nothing? Because girls like this. She did not do like nothing. This, uh, there's millions this of is single women out there because of girls like this. Girls struggle <laughs> every day. Look at girls like this. It's girls, no, it's girls like this. You're going home. 
home. It's girls you're like this. Home. It's girls like this who make it easy to run from your problems, Edwin. You're going home. We'll be back. <laughs>